Hello, my name's Travis. I'm here to talk to you about hot tub jetting today. Uh, to me, it's the most important feature and function of a hot tub. And you might say, why is that? Well, it's because it's the whole reason you're buying it, right? You're either buying it for relaxation, healing, recovery from maybe an injury or a surgery that you have, or maybe it's a lifelong thing where it's uh, arthritis and you need some relief each day, and the hot tub will give you that if the jetting is right and designed for those things. So what I'd like to talk to you guys about today is the different types of jetting and why it's a benefit for you and what you're buying your hot tub for. So first and foremost, I like to bust one myth um, that the common consumer sees um, and thinks is um, a great feature of the hot tub. Most people think the more jets that you have, the better experience you're gonna have. And that's absolutely not true. Uh, what you really wanna look for is different types of jetting, different size jetting, and jetting that's gonna actually um, match up to your body, right? So each of us have a muscle structure, um, we have different pressure points, and those jets need to match up to that in order to give you the relief that you're looking for, the relaxation that you're looking for. So from a jetting standpoint, you're gonna notice that there's a big variety. Um, from your entry line hot tubs all the way up to these luxury hot tubs that you'll see um, uh, on different websites and in different retailers. Typically your entry line hot tub is gonna have what we call a small, a medium, and a large size jet. They're pretty much gonna do the same thing and they'll be spread out behind uh, throughout the hot tub to give you some type of massage. Um, you know, being in a hot tub in warm water automatically is gonna feel good and having a little bit of water pushing on your back um, or your legs is also gonna feel good. Uh, the downfall is sometimes it's hitting the wrong spots of your body and it can actually cause a little bit of pain later that day or the next day. Um, which is why we're gonna talk about the different types of hot tub jets that you can get as you move your way up um, in price points for jetting. When you make your way from an entry line point hot tub to a midpoint hot tub, you get quite a bit different experience when it comes to jetting. As you will be able to see in this tub, each seat is designed a little bit different. It's not just about a small, medium, and large jet. It's about different styles of jets in different sizes in order to match up that jet to that body part or that muscle or that pressure point inside of your body. When you look at this hot tub, each seat is designed a little bit differently and what they're actually doing is they're actually working each muscle and pressure point throughout your body. If you get in this hot tub and you spend five, 10 minutes in each one of these seats, what it's actually gonna do is gonna give you a full, full body massage from the very top of your neck all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Now, why is that important? Well, it's because it creates better blood flow, better blood circulation. When you get better blood circulation, you get healing, you get relaxation, you end up feeling a whole lot better when you get out of the hot tub. Last but not least, it's important to know what kind of pressure or what kind of intensity you're gonna get from a massage in a hot tub. Now, typically, the more jets that you have, the less pressure that you have. Now, what you really wanna find out when you're shopping for a hot tub is what kind of pump is inside the hot tub. And when I say what kind of pump, I mean how many horsepower it is. There's gonna be two ratings. There's gonna be a max horsepower, which is what's needed to start the hot tub, and then there's gonna be a continuous horsepower. Now, that continuous horsepower, you need to take that number, let's say it's three horsepower, and you wanna divide that by the amount of jets that you have. That'll give you an idea of how powerful the jets are. So if you're comparing two or three hot tubs and they all have 50 jets, right? And one has two pumps that are five horsepower and one has two pumps that are three horsepower and one hot tub has two pumps that are one horsepower. Obviously you're gonna get more pressure out of those five horsepower pumps because they all have the same amount of jets. It's very important to find out exactly what you need and talk to a local expert. Tell them what you're looking for, tell them what you're trying to relieve or what you're trying to accomplish by buying a hot tub, and they typically can set you up with exactly what you need based off of your needs. Okay guys, if you wanna know more about hot tub pricing, click the link below.